Check it. Tonight I'm going to talk about when you discover you are dealing with a narc. Now, the reason why I say that is because when people come into your life, including yourself, we must examine ourselves before we, we should have been taught this. But being as though we wasn't taught this, you know, you got to learn as you go on your journey. But whenever you bring someone or you allow someone to have access or come into your world once you get older like i said we were immature when we were younger but when you become mature you observe who comes into your world including yourself because you are your world so if you are a narc and you know you're toxic and you know you are aware of your toxic your toxicity now it's time to do work on yourself but majority times satan got so many people cemented in their little old dirty worlds they don't think that they need help yes you do i'm here to tell you you need lots of help and jesus is your help and satan gonna have you feeling like jesus don't exist he wants you to think that he exists if you believe in satan you should definitely believe in jesus and god period but anyways when you discover that you have a narcissist in your life you take notes you take notes and patterns you, I mean, you take notes of their patterns. If they do something and you know you're not crazy, you're not crazy. Don't think you're delusional or you're losing your mind. God is showing you what's in your world. Now, I'm going to read this, then I'm going to talk about it a little teeny bit, then I'm going to go into depth on it tonight. And Ezekiel, I mean, Ezekiel, I love Ezekiel. Isaiah 14, KJV, that's what I'm reading from. And it reads, 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which doeth weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, your heart, your heart is wicked. Who could know it but God? But when he gave us his Holy Spirit, we can see the wickedness of people. We can see the pain, the stories of their pain. You know, so when somebody lash out, somebody angry, somebody fornicates, somebody lied to you, somebody disrespect you, somebody cheat on you, somebody smear your name, somebody try to betray you. You know that there is some pain behind their stories. Their stories don't add up. So if somebody show you who they are you know that they have been in some type of abuse when they were a child and that's where it starts at from your childhood and it manifests with you as you grow so satan can use you as an adult he stopped your spiritual growth and he used you to do damage in this physical world and i'm talking to the narcs right now and the, and the empathic people that is trying to Empaths are damaged people too. Don't get it twisted. Your parents then damage you. Your siblings then damage you. Your grandparents damage you. Your uncles and your aunts then damage you. So we all been damaged. But the healing has to take place for all of us. If you don't heal, you're going to still run into these narcs, which is led by Satan and his one third demons. Okay, let me finish. I would, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Isaiah 14, 13. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above my throne above the stars of God. I will set also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Meaning, okay, and I will ascend above 14. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Ye thou shall be brought down to hell to the sides of of the pit and i read more today i mean tonight rather but basically what god is saying in this word in his word to all of us satan wants to be just like him so when satan study and satan been studying humanity ever since adam and eve satan been going through humanity taking down so many souls for so many centuries and so many decades so we're in a spiritual battle this is not about our flesh satan uses the flesh as he appear as an angel of light so when the narc come into your life with that first impression like he's there for you or she's there for you she loved you and you opening up so quick you have to examine yourself and you definitely have to examine that narc 
take notes on the patterns of the person and take notes on pattern of yourself until then i will see you all and this is it had to go for me too so i'm not speaking to you all and i haven't took notes for myself I had to learn the spiritual realm just as well. Like I always tell y'all, I was toxic at once upon a time myself. But Jesus, but God, but the Holy Spirit. Well, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, they turned my life around. Not therapy, not man. So therapy is just a title. That person behind that title did not change my life. Yeshua did. See you tonight. Blessings.